some years ago the Pope was up in the free state. Yes. And they got the message over to their own Catholic Church, was to increase their families. And after they had the year's chances taken, friend, do you know, friend, what was there? There was 172,000 newborn babies in the Church of Rome, and they're breeding like rats. That's what they're doing today. And they're going to take over. And so men waking up. I never preach in the gospel. I'm all over to these poor men that are hurting their There's a form of belonging here more ritualized than any I've seen on my travels. I feel like an archaeologist uncovering layer after layer of forgotten British history. As an expatriate, I've always been envious of belonging, to have roots, know your history, have a sense of destiny. These are attractive. When cosmopolitans talk blithely about moving beyond nationalism, they underestimate the desire, the need to belong. But there's also something sad here. The people wave their flags and bang their drums, but deep down they fear that time is running out. They fear the day when Catholics become a majority in Northern Ireland and Protestants cease to be masters in their own house. They fear the day the British government decides enough is enough and pulls out. What happens to a nationalism cut off from the mainland? It ceases to be a claim that must be honored. It becomes a caricature that can be disowned. That's the tragedy of loyalism. If they are abandoned, it won't be because they lacked loyalty, but because they were too loyal. Loyal to a past the British have left behind. 